Hey, 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 it's a brand new day on Gillum Farms. I'm Johnny, and uh, I've got a few things to do today, so uh, I'm gonna get with them. I've already come out and I've fed the chickens and everything, taking care of that. Over the past two days, let's see here what we got last night. Last night we got 1.3 inches of rain. We got 1.3 inches of rain last night, but we got it in like, oh, less than an hour. I mean, it was coming on down, folks. So uh, let me pour this out here. So that 1.3, we can add it to the 4.1 that we got yesterday. Uh, so that's, you know, 5.4. And then the day before that, we got a half inch. So right at six inches over the last three days. So, you know, the hollow up here, up here on Gillum Farms, we're doing well. This is where we live. We call it the hollow. But uh, anyway, whenever I was out and about this morning, I noticed a few things. I noticed, uh, you know, with our corn over here, the wind, you know, we love the rain. You can see where all the water is washed mud and dirt down through our walkway here, but our corn is, you know, a lot of it's down all in here. It's kind of laying every direction right now, and we're hoping that some of it will stand back up. Uh, I think, you know, we may have to prop some of it up, uh, but it's... Uh, yeah, it kind of blew around a little bit. And that's, a lot of that's because the uh, root system is kind of weak. Been in this hard, rocky soil up here. And then, uh, of course, you know, you've got the wind and all the rain, and that weakens everything. And But, but man, look at them. Look at those squash, folks. Man. Yeah. Squash, squash. All right. So then we get over here to something else I noticed. Now I continuously keep traps set around the chickens here. And usually we don't have any problems whatsoever. But last night, this guy came along. So this raccoon came up last night and uh, we ended up catching that one. So they're always looking for a way into the into the traps. And I mean, not into the traps, but into the chicken pens. So since they're always looking for a way into the chicken pens, you know, we've kind of, we kind of just have to keep things out for them. So anyway, this one's not gonna get any chickens or anything like that. It's, uh, it's gonna have to move on, but, uh, anyway so yeah it, it's just it's just a never-ending battle i mean you now when i say never-ending battle i mean it's been a it's been a good bit since we've actually seen a raccoon here um uh, probably a few months now but they're always you know could be one anywhere lurking because where we live if you've seen videos of around where we live here from the drone and stuff like that it's it's we're in the wilderness i mean we're up here in the wilderness and everything that you see we have done i mean we we carved this whole place out there was nothing here but some trees whenever we bought this place and there's a lot more on the other side of the house so we we created all of this area here but anyway, um, I'm going to take care of the little raccoon, and then I'm going to, uh, I've got to head to town, get a few things. Uh, might go to the farm auction, or not the farm auction, but might go to the cattle auction. We might go check that out. It's already started, so we'd be late, but, you know, I'd like to see what uh, calves are selling for. And then, uh, and then after that, we're going to go check on the cattle again. See how much rain we got out there. So follow along, folks, and let's let's do this today. All right. What should we drive today? 
we've got the old standby that I just love to drive. Um, the Nissan pickup. We've got the three quarter ton Ram with a six seven. We've got the dozer, of course. <laughs> and then we've got our our 300,000 mile Nissan. We've got uh, my big truck, the F800. And we got the flatbed and the Xterra. So uh, I think, I think what I'm gonna drive today is the flatbed. It just seems to fit with what I'm gonna do. And I need to get some feed for the chickens and stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna drive this. All right, our fence charger died the other day and you saw that where the cattle got in. So I have got a new fence charger to put around our hay. So I'm gonna be doing that today. That's one of the things I'm gonna be doing. All right, I'm at the co-op. I've got feed back there. Uh, headed to the cell barn for a little bit. All right, I am at the livestock auction. Let's go in here and see what's going on. Yes, 
seven and open. Sixty dollars one. Open up, 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 open up
350. Kevin is full. All right, going to the cattle sale is always a fun time. I've been doing this ever since I was a kid. I used to come here with my dad whenever I was little, and uh, we always, you know, we, we always had a good time. Then whenever I got older, I came and I bought a few cattle here my, of my own. Uh, but cows are, eh, yeah, they're, they're steadying out a little bit. Still pretty good on price. I've got some bull calves that's going to be going to sale and a heifer uh, in a not too distant future. So, but I had a I had a really good lunch here at the uh, at the stockyards. Got the livestock auction. The stockyard cafe is right over there. So I had me a good old lunch, and uh, now I'm going out to check on the cows, see what the calving situation is, and uh, check and see how much rain we got out there. You know, it's always fun to to go out and look at the rain gauge. And uh, if you'll notice, there's puddles everywhere in here. And that's something that we haven't seen here in a very long time, puddles. We are blessed. So anyway, let me head on out to the farm here. <laughs> and they're doing this construction and they've got this all jacked up. I hope I'm on the right road. <laughs> They've got us divided here, so I am hoping. But this is one of those uh, solution to a problem that wasn't type deals. There was no problem here, but now there is anyway. It's a trendy solution to a problem, so or no non-problem. All right, I guess I'll sit here and wait on this light. All right, everybody, we made it. Uh, that means that thing's getting ready to die. Hopefully it's still working. All right, got here, cows are all out. They're all doing good. Got a little bit of stuff to work on while I'm here. Let me get out of here and show you the cows. I hear them, but they're all right. the doors and if you didn't know it do that name right there some of our rooster feed so anyway let's check on everybody here They still got plenty of grass. We got good rain last night. They're not bums rushing me, so they all... Man, you are looking good, little 19. Looking good. All right, this is the one. This is uh, Beth, one of the mean girls. And this is the one that Danny bred in, the, in that one video that I posted. And this is the calf of the cow that's going to have a calf this year. This in here is just one year old at this point. Many. There's Gordon. All right. There's our little bull calf. Man, it is cool right here under where we are here. And should be... There she is. She's hid between Danny and Danny and Mama. That's a little Liberty Bell. She's kind of, there she is up there. Liberty Bell. So we got Liberty Bell, and then we got the little calf that's uh, Oreo's little bull calf right there. So, and Danny always got one thing on his mind. And then... One of the cows over there that's gonna have a calf. And where is 21? Where is 21 at? Oh, I'm, I think she's right over here. Yep. All right. And these are some good looking calves. 
This calf right here has one of the bull calves on her, and she, look at look at her body condition. She is just amazing. That one's going to have a calf. This one's going to have a calf. Hey, little boy, you need a name. <laughs> you need a name. All right. Does everybody want to see how much rain we got here last night? We got 1.3 inches at home. So here we got 1.1 inch. So we got three and I think it was three and six tenths. And then we got 1.1, so 4.7 in the last two days. All right. Pour that one out. That's what we got last night. Now, we have no more chances of rain for the next two weeks. Zero. Going to be over 100. 102, I think, is several days. Anyway, we got to fix this. So I'm going to do that. All right, we've got this uh, solar charger. We've got this solar charger here that I'm going to use. Got it at the co-op this morning. Um, hopefully it's a lot better than this uh, one that I got from a box store. I'm going to see if this one's working. Nope, still not working. So make sure that's off. Yep, no working. So let's see if this one will work. And this one's got a warranty as well, and it doesn't come two pieces. It's a one-piece deal, so it's a, I like it a lot better already. So, got to peel this thing, or take this thing off to get to the solar part of it. All right, I found the exact thing that I need over there in my good old trusty tractor. Get these loose. I don't know how they ever got them that loose or that tight. All right, and we got the brand new one here. Set it up here. Boy, I like that. Just plug and play. So let me do a little tight loop right here. Should be able to put it in right here. Just like that. Have it running out right there. Well, it's got a lot sturdier deal on it than any other one. You get what you pay for, I guess. Right, that one's in. Shorten that up. Put that on there. Right, the new one is hooked up it is not charged up so it's going to have to sit here for a while and charge I did get a red flashing light which means that it's needing to charge so I'm gonna let it sit here for well till tomorrow afternoon and I'll come out and check make sure it's working so anyway I think I'm gonna move on from here right now so just a little quick update, go to the sale barn, uh, go to the co-op, get some stuff, fix this fence charger, check on all the cows. But anyway, if you guys like this type of content, like and subscribe, and I'll continue to bring more content in the future. 
And as always, everybody, God bless.